After almost a full year, they are here. Welcome to the individual Coupe de la Marble League Season 4 Qualifiers. 16 models will play for 12 qualifier spots to join Rainforest as the host of Season 4 and 3rd place overall of Season 3, Java, the champion of Season 3, Tarzan, 2nd place, and Seabed, 4th place in Season 3. And our nominated marbles for this season, Canyon from the Valley Dashers, Poison from the Poison Ivy, and Rasher from the Bacon Brawlers. They, those three will join Seabed as the four nominated marbles from the Team Quadrilla Marble League for this season. Now this video will contain the first two events of the four qualifier events. So it will be hurdles and swimming. And in hurdles, to start off, the qualifiers Blizzard and Denim in the first heat. Every marble just gets one chance to set a good time. Blizzard gets a gap in the second leg and they will keep it. Blizzard beats Denim in the very first heat. Blizzard 15th in the standings last season. They struggle a lot, hoping to turn things around here. They're looking pretty good. 5.58 seconds. Denim slightly over 6. Record held by Blue Tail, 5.2 seconds. Now, Mystic Orb and Candy Corn in the second heat. Very close. Ooh, Candy Corn slightly ahead. Candy Corn, will it stay that way? Yes, it will. Candy Corn will beat Mystic Orb this time in the bottom lane. How will it stack up to Blizzard? Though? Oh, it's only third place. Worse than both Blizzard. And Denim, 6.28 seconds is not a great time despite getting the win in that heat and Mystic Orb even worse. Now, Sandstorm and Void in the third heat. Both of these marbles down in the order last season. We'll see if any of them can do well here. Sandstorm looks pretty quick and will easily beat Void. Not even close between these two. Sandstorm trying to qualify once again. And 5.86 seconds puts them in second place behind Blizzard though. They were looking pretty good, but Blizzard still has the lead. Now, Casper and Shamrock in the fourth heat. This fence going by quickly in the qualifiers. Casper didn't qualify for last season, and they get overtaken by Shamrock in the second leg. Shamrock slightly ahead, and they stretch it. Shamrock will get the win over Casper, who looks like they're going to be on the back foot. Eighth place, 6.58 seconds. That is dead last for Casper. Shamrock, though, goes into third place, but only a hundredth of a second ahead of Denim in fourth. Now, Goop and Poison. Goop, another Marvel that didn't qualify for last season. A bit of a surprise. Poison, by the way. Nominated Marvel. We'll see how they can do. And it's not going to be as good as Goop. Goop comfortably ahead in this one. I think, let's see, the second, third, and fourth. I think all of them. And Goop goes into second place. Goop, I think a hundredth of a second ahead of Sandstorm. Barely get into second place, but cannot beat Blizzard. Poison also not a great time. We'll see how they can do now. Rasher and Blue Tail. Blue Tail, of course, the record holder of this event. They are ahead of Rasher in the bottom lane and they will hold it. But Rasher, not too bad. Rasher, of course, the Bacon Brawlers representative in this season. After the Bacon Brawlers' dominant performance in the Team Coachella Marble League B Division, we'll see what Rasher can do in its seventh place right now. Blue Tail, though, goes into fourth. A tenth of a second, a hundredth of a second behind Sandstorm and two hundredths behind um, Goop. Now, Ecto and Wave Runner. These two very close. Ecto, of course, season one champion, and they will beat Wave Runner. How does this stack up the Wave Runner? Not too far off, but actually, that's a big difference in terms of the placement. Fifth for Ecto, all the way down in eleventh is Wave Runner. 5.99, barely sub six seconds for Ecto. Fifth is decent now. Neptune and Canyon. Neptune hasn't qualified for the last two seasons. Canyon nominated from the team Quadrilla Marbly. Canyon slightly ahead. Neptune caught up, but actually slowing down there. I think Canyon caught up right at the end. And Canyon three hundredths of a second ahead of Neptune. That puts Canyon in tenth and Neptune in twelfth. And that's how it is. Blizzard will get the win in the hurdles and Goop and Sandstorm. But you can see. Just 15 points for getting the win. There's no huge advantage for getting the medals here. It's linear scoring, so you have to be consistent in the qualifiers. Blizzard, Goop, and Sandstorm nonetheless, though. Good start for them as we move on to swimming. We saw this in the Team Quadrilla Marble League, but in the individual, it is slightly revamped. We'll have lanes for the first time in swimming. So the marbles won't be getting argy-bargy and 
getting in front of each other, but they will all have a clear path to the end. Now, Canyon, Blue Tail, Mystic Orb, and Denim in the first heat as they go into the water. Move very close between all of them. Denim slightly ahead. Mystic Orb also very close. It's going to be one of them that gets the win, I think. Blue Tail in third, and Canyon will get last in the top lane. And Denim, by two hundredths of a second, will beat Mystic Orb, Blue Tail, and Canyon in third and fourth. You can see those gaps really starting to form near the end. Now, Sandstorm, Shamrock, Candy Corn, and Neptune. Remember that these individual league marbles don't have experience in swimming. It's very close between all of them. Once again, I think Neptune might have got the win there. It was either them or Shamrock. Neptune, of course, trying to qualify for the first time. They haven't been in the big show since season one. Shamrock will get the win by a hundredth of a second ahead of Neptune. They get into fifth, third and fourth. The other two, fifth and sixth. So very close between all of them. Now, Wave Runner, Poison, Void, and Casper in the third heat. Wave Runner, Water Team, Marble, they're trying to do well here. But Poison in the second lane will comfortably get the win. The nominated Marble showing their skill here in swimming. Not, not the greatest of the first event. Poison goes into P1 and Wave Runner P2. Those two leading the way with just one heat to go. Rasher, Blizzard, Ecto, and Goop in the final heat. This will also be the final heat of the day as there are only two events in this video. Ooh, it's very close. Rasher though ahead. Ecto fighting with them. One of them got the win. Then it was Goop and Blizzard. But who did it? And how does this stack up? Rasher gets the win and gets the best time of the day. Rasher of the Bacon Brawlers gets P1, Ecto P2, and Goo P3. All four of the final heat did very well in this event. But Rasher will stand on top and jump up into fourth place. Goop leads the way ahead of Blizzard, Ecto, the Season 1 champion in third. Rasher in fourth, Poison in fifth. Those two nominated marbles doing very well. Candycorn, Canyon Void, and Casper in the disqualification zone with two events to go, but still, half of the qualifiers left. A lot of chance for these marbles to make it up. In the next video, we will have the block pushing event and reverse elimination race and spin on the standard elimination race. You will not want to miss it, so be there.